Welcome to our ExaQuantum training video. In this two-part video, we provide a clear and concise step-by-step -step guide on how to import Centum graphics into ExaQuantum Web. In part one, we show you how to convert a DCS graphic into an intermediate format that can be copied across to the ExaQuantum server. In part two, we show how to convert either single or bulk graphics into an ExaQuantum web graphic and how to load the graphics in the database so that they can be viewed by ExaQuantum web clients. Graphics import into ExaQuantum Explorer and the use of ExaQuantum graphical framework will be covered in other videos. The graphic user interface used by Centum VP is very different from that used in ExaQuantum. The Centum VP user interface is used by operators to control and monitor the plant, whereas the ExaQuantum user interface was designed to provide people who are not in the control room with visibility of plant operations, both historically and using the latest collected plant data. Therefore, it is not necessary for everything to be converted and some functionality like control functionality cannot be converted into ExaQuantum. There are some limitations regarding graphic conversion and this will largely depend on the DCS graphic that is being converted. More information on this is available in the ExaQuantum Engineering Guide Volume 4. Before we show the conversion process, let's look at a graphic running in Centum VP. Although not exactly the same graphic, it would look similar if we were running on Centum CS3000 system. This graphic represents a distillation column of a petrochemical plant. We will see this same graphic running in ExaQuantum Web at the end of the video. The first step in the conversion process is to use a tool, available on both of the ExaQuantum installation DVDs, to convert the DCS graphic into an intermediate SVG format. Two versions of the tool are provided, one for Centum CS3000 and one for Centum VP. This is not the final format we need for ExaQuantum Web, but a format that allows transfer from one graphic system to another. These tools can be run directly from the DVD or copied across onto the HIS engineering workstation. In the case of Centum CS3000, it is also possible to import graphics directly from the HIS without using the intermediate SVG. This will be discussed in part two of this video. Depending on the version of Centum and the Windows features configured in the engineering workstation, it may be necessary to install the .NET 3.5 features. For this reason, we suggest using Disk 1 of the installation media rather than Disk 2. Installation of the .NET 3.5 features is covered in the XQuantum installation manual when discussing the installation of IIS. There is, however, no need to select the web server role in this case, and step 6 can be skipped. The tools are located in the Tools folder on the XQuantum installation DVD, in subfolders called Graphic Converter for Centum VP and Graphic Converter for His, the later being used when converting graphics from a Centum CS3000 system. Here we have the XQuantum installation disk 1 mounted on the D drive on a Centum VP His engineering workstation. In this video, we're going to use a Centum VP system. Now run the SVG convert tool. If the .NET 3.5 features are not installed, then a message will be displayed saying that this must be done before you can continue. In this case, all is well and we can continue. If you need to convert a graphic on a Centum CS3000 His station, the tool is called Tool SVG Convert, and it only converts a single graphic at a time. We first need to select a location into which the converted files will be saved. This should be somewhere to which you have write access and you can easily remember. To change from the default location, click on the Browse button and use the Browse for Folder dialog to select or create a suitable location. Here we use a folder that was created earlier under the Interactive Users Documents folder. You have an option to add individual files or whole folders full of files to the list of files to be converted. I will choose to add some individual files. 
Send some graphic files are in an electronic document format and have a .edf extension. These files can also be saved in another intermediate format known as a Scalable Vector Archive or SVA format. I am going to select some EDF files in this example. I therefore need to select this from the File Type drop-down menu. I need to navigate to where the graphics are stored. By default, this will be in the Windows folder for the Engineering HIS under where the project resides. The project being used here is called eDemo and the HIS machine is HIS 0162. So the path is eDemo backslash HIS 0162 backslash window, as you can see here. So I will now choose a few graphics as examples, one of which is the distillation column graphic we saw earlier. Once all the graphics have been converted, click close to close the conversion progress dialog and close again to close the tool. At this point, we have all the converted graphics in the intermediate SGV format. Once all the required DCS graphics have been converted, these files need to be copied across to the XQuantum server for the next stage of the process. In this case, I have a network share which I have set up to allow me to do this easily. So I can simply drag them from the location on the HIS to the location on the XQuantum server. That concludes part one of this two-part training video, looking at how to convert graphics from Centum to XQuantum Web. In part two, we show how to convert either single or bulk graphics into an XQuantum Web graphic and how to load the graphics in the database so that they can be viewed by XQuantum Web clients. For more information, contact us or visit our website.